Paul, the three points never looked in doubt. No, I thought we, uh, you know, we went into the game and, and tried to play on the front foot. Um, scored probably at the right time, if I'm going to be totally honest, because I think there was a little bit of anxiety about her and uh, again. But um, no, we had to be patient. We had to be patient. Uh, I thought Gateshead were, were dogged and resolute and um, worked extremely hard. So uh, no, it's, I'm, I'm pleased with the lads. Pleased with the lads. They've, uh, they've worked hard again. And um, I think deservedly got the three points. It could have been another Barrow, couldn't it? We had chances. We had chances. I'm, I'm not going to deny that. But um, yeah, I just uh, yeah, it was one of those scenarios again where I thought at, at one stage we were, we were a little bit off key in, in the last third and, and picking the wrong decisions and making the wrong decisions. Um, but I'm not going to complain. The lads, the lads have been brilliant and uh, totally deserve um, you know all the accolades that come their way. You've equalled a conference record of 12 winning games in succession and also a club record, an all-time club record for the same amount of winning matches. That must please you. Yeah, it does, but you know, it, it, there's only one thing that, that, that pleased me even more and that, that was you know, getting, a, you know, getting a good result in, in, our next, in our next game. So, but like, records are there to be broken and uh, you know, I think all credit has got to go to the lads. They, they, they're working extremely hard and um, they're going extra round and uh, that's what pleases me about them. You also had four separate scorers today. Yeah, we seem to be scoring from all, all um, different angles of the pitch at the minute in different positions, which is which is excellent at this stage of the season because uh, especially last season we, we relied heavily on, on Matt Green, but uh, I, think, I think his goal, you know, given the ladder mention, he, he works his nuts off, um, socks off, shall I say, uh, all, all, all the way through uh, through the game, and I, I think he thoroughly deserved to. Um, to get on the score sheet and you see what it meant to him when he scored because he, he does put an awful lot in um, throughout the 90 minutes. Uh, elsewhere, I know you don't like talking about other sides, but people are interested. Wrexham, the last we heard, were held, and as I'm being put off by some of the lads here, we've got to remain professional though. Of course. And uh, is it a two horse race now between you and Kitty? I don't know. It's. Uh, uh, look, I've not seen results. Uh, I'm not overly concerned with, with everyone else's results, and that's not. Well, to say it's not being arrogant, I like to concentrate on, on what we, you know, what, what we can do and, and, and what's in front of us. Uh, as soon as you get start getting your head turned, we'll have a look tomorrow and see, have a look at league tables and stuff like that. But it's, it's just about enjoying it now and yeah, enjoying, you know, the win today. Um, get the lads' feet back down on the ground for, for what is a, a, a next couple of tough, tough games for us. Uh, what's the plan of action this this coming week? Are we staying over at uh, Wrexham and then Barrow? Yeah, the lads will be travelling up to Wrexham, and you know the team has been good enough to uh, uh, you know, to say that we can we can go straight from Wrexham straight up to Barrow, so the lads can get some some much needed rest and uh, uh, recovery time. So um, you know, a big thanks has to you know has to go to him you know to allow us to do that. But uh, saying that, the lads have got to put their you know do their part now. We've got to look after our bodies, eat the right foods, drink the right fluids, and uh, and um, you know bet ourselves into to what's going to be another tough game on Thursday. Uh, unusually, you got the Man of the Match award today. Um, did you hear it from the, from where you were? Yeah, I think it was my mum that was actually sponsoring <laughs> the game today. So um, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Uh, she always picked me as Man of the Match even when I weren't playing when I was a kid. So uh, no, it, it, it was pleasing. Uh, I just think the the, the whole eleven uh, and the subs that were involved today, they they deserve it. Um, they deserve it. That you know, and they they deserve all the accolades that, that come their way. It's the players that are, are really. Pushing this club forward, and uh, like I say, I, I'm, I'm quite prepared to. You know, I, I don't like all the razzmatazz. I'd rather lads go and go and pick up all the uh, the accolades. Could you have one hand on the trophy by the end of the week? No, no. It's uh, you know we're prepared uh, to go to the wire and prepared to go to the, the last game of the season. I'm meant to be preparing the boys. You know that it's not going to be easy. Uh, there'll be some twists and turns, but. It's it's our scenario now to, to everything that, that that comes our way to adapt and, and to overcome it. Uh, if we do that, it's going to be interesting. Um, but no one's won it until it's, it's mathematically possible. And uh, like, you know, like we say, we'll, we'll, we'll just dust ourselves down tonight. Go again on Thursday. Would you expect it to go to the last game of the season? Yeah, if you expect that, there's, there's no surprises. I expect the injuries. I expect uh, a bit of bad luck on the way. Um, I expect all the things that could could hamper us to come our way. That means uh, I need to prepare for every eventuality. So um, as long as we're preparing and we're giving it our all, 
I'll be pleased with it because these lads are, are really are working extremely hard for the club. Let's just get a final word on Greg Taylor, who made his full home debut out there today. Your verdict? I thought he was excellent out of this world. I thought I thought the back four was absolutely tremendous, and um, Greg has. Uh, it was a hard game to come into at Tamworth for him. He, he, he picked up Cunnington and. Uh, he's a handful, you know. Uh, we saw what Greg's about today, not, not just defending but coming forward late on and uh, overlapping. He's, he's a good player, we put a good player at the football club. Another good win, well done Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Louis, I said in commentary you only score brilliant goals and that was another. Yeah, um, it was an important time to get a goal. Uh, Whoever it was going to score up and pop up, but yeah, it was a nice, uh, nice little goal for me. But yeah, it's another great three points. Where does that rank? I'm talking about that goal now in terms of your collection this season. I don't know if it's made into the top ten. No, <laughs> I've, only got, I've only got eight. Uh, no, yeah, that's got to be one of the better ones. You know, the, the Lincoln one away was nice, um, but yeah, left foot got to concentrate like, a little bit more, and uh, you know, thankfully it went in. Team-wise, there could have been even more goals, couldn't they? Yeah, um, I think we had uh, a few close. Shaves for them in the uh, in the first half, um, and then obviously in the second half, I think we've just uh, rolled them over, got a goal at the important time, and then you know four 0 come out convincing. Should we have had a penalty in the first half? 100 percent, yeah. Um, I think the the referees come to me and said that it was up to the linesman because he, he was blocked a view, but um, I'm not the sort of person to go down like that. Um, he's, he's stuck his leg out and he's kicked me, so what can I, what can I do? What about uh, the side's title hopes now? Um, have you seen results as we speak elsewhere in the division? Um, the lads are speaking about it in bits and bobs, but we're, we try not to think about that too much. Um, we've got six games. If we win, you know, if we win four games of them, we've won the league. That's it's as simple as that. So we just take each game as it comes and win win as many as we can. But people are interested in these type of things. Do you now think it's a two-horse race between you and Kidderminster? Um, well, if you looked at it, you would say yeah, um, but you know, you can't underestimate Wrexham, we've got to play them twice, you know, at Touchwood we don't, but we could have a bad run and they could be right back in it, uh, same with Kidderminster, but you know, we win our games, we've, we've won the division. Just how does it feel to be inside that dressing room? It's brilliant, um, you know, since we've been on this run, since the turn of the year really, we had the FA Cup run which was nice for the fans in the, in the town, um, but we've all knitted in really nicely now, um, training's a good tempo, it's, it's, good, uh, it's good camaraderie between us all, um, and you can see that when we're when we're out there working for each other. What's happened? What's the secret ingredient? Um, winning games, I suppose. Winning games makes it a lot easier for everybody. Uh, makes it easier for the fans to come and watch, makes it easier for us to play. Um, and I think that's that's what it is, really. And if, the, the more we win, the happier we'll be. Louis, well done. Cheers, thanks very much. Halsey, how did it feel to be back? Uh, felt great to be back, um, to be fair. Bit of a blow, um, but something that I needed, 90 minutes. Um, obviously, just push on to our next games now. And you got the ball rolling? Yeah, I got the ball rolling. They seen it come off the uh, the crossbar, I think it was, and then I just tapped it in. You know what I mean? Two yarders. You just got to be sharp there. You know, but showed how the strikers that it's done. Got the first goal. Were you expecting to be in the lineup uh, prior to this game? Um, no, I didn't really expect it to be fair. Um, obviously, I've been working hard in training. Um, Gaffer drops a bit of hints there, saying you've been doing well. You know, you could get your, your chance soon. So obviously, I've come here today and I was in the squad. You expected to keep your shirt now. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've come in. Um, obviously, I've, I've, um, well, I got up to speed um, in the game, and then hopefully, I'm in the team for the next game on Thursday. What's the general feeling inside the changing room in, ter in terms of title hopes now? Obviously, lads are um, buzzing about it. You know, it's always in the back of the mind that we, we could be there, and, and that there's a lot of hints to the lads of saying, "Yeah, I'll see you at the top, lads." You know what I mean? And, but, Everyone knows that we've got a job to do still, and um, obviously Thursday, Thursday's game and Saturday's game, you know, it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard, but um, when the games come, we'll deal with it then. Is the manager making a real point of trying to keep uh, heads level? Yeah, definitely. He's, he's, he's obviously, he's, he's, got, he's, he's just there, he's telling us we've got to take one game at a time, basically. We can't get um, over ourselves. Um, we've got to keep grounded and um, roll up our sleeves and still, still get them wins. Is it tough not to get too excited because you can almost see the trophy on the horizon now. Um, I think it's a case of that we just know how hard it's going to be. You know, we don't expect to come out here and have an easy game. So you know, I think um, the lads are not even the excitement when we come out here is not there. We just got to know. We just know that it's going to be hard, and we just got to roll up the sleeves and um, put in 100% to get a win. Do you think we're favourites? 
Yeah, definitely. It would be silly to not say that we're favourites if everyone's looking at it. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of pressure being favourites. And um, obviously, we're just trying to put that in the back of our minds and just carry on. What will be the crucial factor to help us over the line, Halsey? Um, well, basically, I think we've got everything we need. We've got team spirit, we've got depth in the side. Um, just like today, I've just got changed with Chapo. You know, I could come in and do a job. If Chapo come in first, he could do a job, you know. And obviously, the lads, just, um, the lads don't really mind it. At this stage of the season, we just want the best. And we just want to win games and we just want to win the league. That's all. So we've got the support, you know. I've still got Chapo there in my ears saying, do this, do that. Well done, you know what I mean? So it's not... It's not no competition at, the, it's at this present time, it's just everyone's got to help each other to pull through. Well done today. Thank you.